Hey all, and welcome to TechCurse Talks Hawken. Now, in case you don't know, Hawken is a first, it's an FPS, it's a mech game, which means, as you can see, everybody controls a mech. I am playing a technician, specifically a healer, and if you don't know about this game, it's pretty simple. It's an FPS, uh, you control a mech, uh, and this is on PC, it's free to play on Steam now, finally, uh, because it was paid, you know, you had to buy a bundle uh, to actually play the game. And as you can see, mechs uh, have various abilities. They're able to move about quick, rapidly, uh, and stuff in junk. Uh, the basic idea is that uh, when you're playing with a mouse and keyboard, you have your left mouse button controlling your left weapon, the left hand weapon, and right mouse button controlling the right hand weapon. No zoom, no stuff like that. And your mech won't really live long. Like, if you live more than a minute in this game, that's already kind of like a record. If you live through the whole match without dying once, that's already legendary. Uh, as you can see, I'm healing my own turret that I dropped a bit earlier. There's the shield that the base units are able to do, and here, as you can see, healers are vital in this game because mechs are defenseless and actually quite vulnerable for the whole time uh, that they uh, repair. So you hit C on your keyboard, and you repair to any damage. However, you're very vulnerable during this period. So what happens is your mech goes down, uh, kneels pretty much, uh, and a drone appears and repairs you. Now, it's not long. Like, it'll take you maybe, I don't know, 10 seconds at most if you're, you know, some kind of heavy mech uh, to get yourself repaired. Now here, as you can see, I'm using my weapon to blow stuff up, kill people, uh, successfully, occasionally. Uh, and again, a heavy mech is actually right up ahead, the front of the heavy mech that I'm showing, looking at right now, the one that fired the missiles over there. And I'm heading over there to repair them. Now you have a jet pack, you're able to move rapidly in various directions. Uh, the basic idea is that, uh, in this game, uh, you have various classes of mechs. Now there are tons of mechs in this game. There are support, there are sharpshooters, there are stealth, there are assassins. There are supports, uh, there are just general assault, uh, you know, combat mechs. And as you can see, this is one of the features of the heavy mechs. Heavy mechs uh, basically have this special feature where they can just put a ton of armor in front of them that will reduce damage. However, it does make them unwieldy. And as you can see, this is where the technician comes in. That guy would have died already three times, well, no, not three times, two times, had I not been constantly healing him. And when I heal him, I also heal myself. You also note that there is no reloading weapons and you no know, stuff like that. You know, it's all based on heat, which, as you can see, my weapon's overheated and shut down for a bit there. Uh, and as you can see, I take a ton of damage, but at the same time, I heal somebody and I regenerate my own damage. There's also a fuel indicator below the health bar. Uh, the health bar is in the center, a uh, fuel indicator below that. And that's what lets you, you know, use your jetpack to fly, uh, to dodge left and right in the event of an emergency, to move forward. Uh, so basically, if you go hit W and whatever the key is for a boost, you are able to move forward at a rapid, fairly rapid pace. Hit back and you just turn around quickly. As you can see, I'm dead last in this team. Yeah, not the best guy. <sighs> Matches. It's over. We won, but I contributed the least. This is probably my worst match ever. But still fun. You know, we get to the final screen, which you'll see in a second. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Yep, there we go. There was Tech Curse there, right? Yeah, it's a lineup just to see all this cool stuff. Again, great game. This is just the first quick look. Check out my stuff later. See you guys.